Well, Dick, they passed their first test. The second round game, though, should prove to be more difficult between the Sam Houston State Bearcats and the Oklahoma Sooners. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Sooners should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second of all, reward your big man. Give him the ball down low. Get him into the game. Let him be part of the offense. Thirdly, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. And take some pride on the defensive end. He strips him clean. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. And up. And he missed. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. The Sooners go to the line for the first time in this game. Makes the shot. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Up oh, fake. Take that screen away. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. the perimeter top of the circle they work it around the perimeter isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper and he scores despite the hack down inside jumps in great play to take that to the basket Working around the arc. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Looking for a good shot. Trying to draw the foul. Contact causes the shot to come off. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. That's good. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Work it back to the outside. He attempts the three. Way off target. The point guard handles the feed. He keeps his dribble as they reset. He may be in trouble here, Brad. They go into the low block. The center receives the ball. He puts it up. It's no good. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Outside jumper off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Number 23 received, blocks it. Now trying to feed the low block. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move.
steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Trying to feed the low block and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from outside. That's seven unanswered. They work the perimeter. On the inside. Double team now, that angle. From downtown. And did no one can really find the touch from beyond the arc. Hey, this is one of those nights that no matter how open you are, you just can't put it in, baby. Got a guy right on him on the pass. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Nick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Number 30 wants some encouragement from the fans. Hey, Brad, he's looking for some additional encouragement for this offensive possession. Way off target. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He shoots from downtown. Shot off. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. From beyond the arc, goes. Number 23 is feeling good. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. The center handles the pass, working it around the perimeter. A high screen. Tries for two. In and out. Oh, the pick comes back to haunt the screener that time. For two, perfectly executed. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for contact. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. We have a backcourt violation. Mistakes like that can add up in games like this. Number 23, pump fakes. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. It's around a fadeaway. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. comes defensively on him on the low block kick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Looking for a good shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. The crowd loves this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Entry pass. 
in the paint. Leans in. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Stolen away. Transition opportunity coming up. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. have a special roster which I know you're in love with Dick. Well, their roster is pretty special Brad. You know why? Because of the seniors, the leaders, the dependable ones. They're so important. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Tries for two. They still don't score. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Number 23 is called for the foul. Third team foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. He buries the shot. Gave it up. They work the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Number one with a finger roll. Here's a double team. Runs him first, Dick, and works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. With the block. Can't get the shot to go. And a momentary look from three-point land. Step out on that screener. Nice shot. Nice fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Sinks the shot. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. They're working around the perimeter. The Sooners have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Got a nice screen. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? And the ball goes out of play. And 
that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. They work it around the perimeter. And he'll kick it back outside. In the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Look at that spacing. High post screen, going to use it. He drains it. Strips the ball. Goes up for two. Oklahoma are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. Looking for a good shot. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Gets it back out. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Ten seconds to get it off. On the outside. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Then. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. For two, and he missed for the bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And in and out. And the ball goes out of bounds. <laughs> Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up to zip. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Working it around the perimeter. There's a high screen. For two. Doesn't go. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Thinks about the shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. There's a bad pass right to the defender. 
with a bucket. They still don't score. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He makes the block, gave it up. This is what you're supposed to do, Dan Lowe's. Go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 on how to explode to the goal. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He misses the first shot. He can't get one to fall. the dribble gives it up takes the pass in the paint Oklahoma have a nice little run going here can they keep it up though no one's proven otherwise just yet Brad tries for two he has taken his team completely out of this game these young guys have to remember to let the game come to you don't force the action they go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Jumps in. Number 23 makes the finger roll. Two for one opportunity. The fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Number 44 picks up the foul. Fourth team foul. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. First shot, good. He buries it. Pushes it up. Takes away the pass. Shot clock is dead. Sets the screen for his teammate. He gets the board. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number one. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He has one shot. Count it. The ball goes out of play. High post player flashing. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. At the half, the Sooners are up by four. It's been a tight one thus far, Mr. Vitale. What play do you think set the tone here tonight? Watch here. Pounding the ball inside like you see. And this highlight will take a lot out of the team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. The teams are just about ready to start the second half. Dick, let's see how this one unfolds. Sam Houston State had a horrible first half, Dick, in turning the ball over. I see a lot of guys out there thinking too much when they have the ball. When you think too much on the basketball court, they're trying to be Aristotle, man. They're going to be basketball players. The opposition has time to react. You can't let them have that advantage. 
Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. That's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Looking for contact with the layup. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. Gave it up. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. They work the perimeter. The center takes the slaps the rock out of there. They keep saying, get that stuff out of here. Looking for a good shot. Dumps it in for two. And he scores it off the glass. Talking apple turnovers either. The layup is good. That's a 10 nothing run. to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. On the outside, the small forward takes the pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For two. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. with a jump hook. I'll tell you, a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That kid's making him think about every shot, Dick. And he's doing it without fouling, which is the key. The skip pass is picked off with a quarterback pass. Post flasher is open. Number 22 is whistled for the foul. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. We get another look at it in the lane. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Looking for a good shot. He tries to knock down the three. He drains the bucket. On 
the outside. The shooting guard takes the pass. Way off target. The point guard with the ball. And a momentary look from three-point land. Leans in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Jumped in front to take it away. That's basic. On the inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Goes up for two. Good. He's going to see this guy to sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. The center gets the ball. Controlling the ball. Stolen away. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. Number 44 to the line, shooting two. Makes the first shot. Gets the second. He launches the bomb, scorches the net. Nice high post screen. We'll take the shot. Off the rim and no good. He uses the shot fake. Taken away. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Number five is charged with the foul. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Gets the second shot. Working it around the perimeter. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. That's been moved. Not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And now they'll bring it up. For the bucket. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? In the paint. There he is. Scripts the ball loose. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. 
He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. The center gets the pass. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball to the goal. Strong. Trying to get that ball movement. Get that good spacing. Had an open guy in the post and went the other. Gets the rejection. Steals the pass. Top of the circle they work and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Here we go on the break. Goes up for two. Up, easy one. <laughs> on the outside, the defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'm telling you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Great play to take that to the basket. He tries for two, and he missed. Moving it around the perimeter. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. For two. They still don't score. The Sooners seem to follow a certain style of play. Hey, bullies. They're big bullies out there. Being physical is the name of their game. And in and out. Spin moves not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Steals the ball. They worked the perimeter, gave it up. High post screen. Two rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. This one's turned it into a big blow, baby. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Number one is pounded on his way up. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, what a turn of events down here on the sidelines. The coaches and the players, they are feeling the heat, the message from the bench, defensive stops, and do it now. Makes the second shot. With a deep shot from outside. Nice job and dribble it off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position, spreading his body and getting the ball. He missed the post guy. The post guy had a great angle. Was locking on the box. Cleans the glass. 
Then I've got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. There's the trap. The lay -in. Kick it back outside. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. And working around the perimeter. Number 23 draws the personal. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Makes the second. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Unloads a three. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. For the deuce, and he misses the shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Gave it up. Fakes a jumper. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got him in the face-up position in the post. the post but elected to reverse the ball tries for two in and out number double zero makes a great move to draw the foul those are the types of plays you want a lot of these kids are on a roll look at them celebrating with one another hey hey why not it's a team sport right he hits his first Makes both of them. No problems so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Working it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. 
Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Entry pass in the paint. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. In the paint. Jump hook from the low post. Ante, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. And a momentary look from three point land. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Number 23 in the paint. Fake. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Number 44 with the foul. He steps up to the line. He misses it. Gets his second. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Dick is doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Here's a double team. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Intercepted for the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. the shot on the outside has a nice look at the basket he launches a three nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot This time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Gets up to make the block. And the ball goes out of play. The Dick, the shot seemed to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Fadeaway jumper. He's got to pass those off, Dick. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. Look at that spacing. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Shot clock is dead. He shoots from outside. He missed. Pushes it up. Gave it up. 
They work it around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. The Sooners graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.